Hi, um, I'm Kate Elliott, and um, I am uh, also a, primarily an acrylic painter. Um, I'm the owner of a small business called Maywood Arts, and it's a multifaceted creative business. Um, I do a lot of, I wear a lot of different hats, do a lot of different kinds of things. Um, one of the things that I do that I'm going to be showing this evening is um, commissions of um, primarily portraits. I do a lot of dogs because people love to put their little puppers up on their walls and um, I love to paint them as well. It's super fun, but um, let's see. So what I go for when I'm trying to do a portrait um, for a client is I'm not looking to do a, you know, a true depiction copying a photograph because that doesn't, that doesn't do much for me. What I'm trying to do is capture something about how the picture made me feel, something about the character of whatever the subject matter is, um, and something that tells a little bit of a story. I'm looking for a narrative. I'm looking for something that really um, evokes. And um, I'm also trying to uh, keep things sort of lively and and loose um as much as possible if you saw this up close you would see that all of the jumble of things in the background is really just higgledy piggledy it's all these marks and layers and um and color and uh, i anyway um i really enjoy um bringing life to these things i do a lot of other stuff as well i do abstract landscapes and other things on my own but just tonight i'm going to be showing you some of the things that i can do for people who ask me too nicely. <laughs> Kate, I think I heard you say um, earlier that you use a pretty big brush to keep it loose. I do. I don't paint with a teeny little brush. Like even, even the little like whisker marks yep. are done with a brush. Um, and I'm looking for the very one. Pardon me one second. It's wet because I was painting, but I, I do it with something along the lines of this and I just use the corner. Yeah. So I get all kinds of all kinds of details just with a like a one inch flat. Mm -hmm. um, and that does keep it looser and more uh painterly than tight and more like a photograph. Yeah. Uh, this this poor one, this painting, um I did this most recent one that I did. And unfortunately the United States Postal Service has lost it. So I will be doing this little one again for my client, but I've learned in my little business, I've learned now not to use the United States Postal Service to send precious puppies to their, <laughs> their, their homes. Um, okay. Next one. He's cute. Hmm. Oh yeah. So this one, um, is really what I like best of all when I'm doing portraits is to capture uh, an intimate moment, an unexpected, personal, private, contemplative, or, you know, dreamy in this case, um, moment that is not self-conscious and posing and trying to put your most perfect, beautiful foot forward. I'm just, I'm, I, I really like something that um, captures a, you know, a feeling and an essence. And this one to me, it's called Sunday afternoon. And there's not very much else that says more about a Sunday afternoon than curling up on the sofa with your puppy. I think I mentioned before that the words that popped into my mind are finding the sacred in the ordinary. And I, this is just stunning. Oh, thank you so much. I, I love this. Thank it's you. So comfortable together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. And comfort and safety and all of yeah. that. Um, <laughs> puppy tummy uh again with an unexpected um unexpected pose completely unselfconscious 
uh, not trying to, um, there's nothing Pinteresty about, you know, how you <laughs> present yourself in this case. It's like all belly and freckles and, you know, all that, all that jazz. And anyway, I love the intimacy of it. I, um, and when, when I have clients who can send me something that captures, like to me, I know who this puppy is when I see uh, some, an image like this, I, I get a sense of, of what that is. And I, I enjoy in this one, how um, this, the, she's really very loosely painted. The only place where there's any real, de real details are kind of the inside of her ear and her nose and her little eyelashes, but the rest of it is just very loose and abstract. But um, anyway. I, I find that the, the pillow near, the color of the pillow <laughs> is amazing uh, with the couch and near the dog. It's really nice color. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, it connects with the collar too. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely, mm -hmm. very harmonious. And they're so expressive. I mean, I have puppies that love to sleep on their back like that with their legs straight up. <laughs> and there's a lot of times where right when they're really good and asleep, the, their feet will start flopping like they're running. Right, you know? yeah. And I feel like this dog is getting ready to do that. So you have really captured that essence and that feeling of, dream and ha oh it's just perfect i love it thank you so much love it <laughs> okay uh this one is um looser still this is called gentle giant and was a commission done for a family who had just lost their their puppy and, and he wasn't a puppy he was an elder dog and actually it was very sweet they had adopted him when he was 13 years old and he lasted a year with the family uh -huh. and they, anyway, it was a lovely, a lovely story. And this was a way to sort of pay homage to it. And actually this is primarily the underpainting. Um, I lay everything in, I do like a, a soft background. This one had a little texture. I put some extra gesso cause I wanted to have some tooth to it. And, uh, then I, I lay everything in with water soluble graphite, um, because the first thing I want to do is to block in my, my values. And so I'll, I'll shade in the dark spots and all of that stuff. And then I'll go through with uh, just water on a brush and um, begin to render from the water soluble graphite. And I got to this point and was about to try to figure out, okay, where do I go from this to make it more of a painting and less of a drawing. And um, I realized that I just, uh, it was, it was done. I didn't need to do anything else. And I showed it to the client and they agreed that there wasn't anything that was missing, that it just needed to, it needed to be left sort of uh, loose. And there's something about it that reminds me a little bit of like Japanese calligraphy painting. And I don't know if I, if I'm like off the rail on that one, but there's something about the, the looseness of it mm -hmm. anyway. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Lovely. So. Okay. And, uh, and this one again, um, looking for the intimate moments. Um, this was a, a portrait of a kid who was just lost in their own world in, at the beach, as kids often are, digging their way halfway buried in one arm and trying to like <laughs> see what they can find with the other, completely oblivious to everything else going on around them. Um, I, what I really liked about the image was how graphic, uh, the shadow is on sand. You have like, essentially the, the whole background was one color, but it's all done with undulating, um, undulating sand. And it just created this cool, strange shadow because of the, uh, uneven ground underneath. Um, and uh, let's see, what else can I say about this one? Um, uh, yeah, this is, again, this was a uh, acrylic done with a lot of glazes and, uh, water soluble graphite. Um, there's a lot of little line work in there and mm -hmm. yeah, so <laughs> very pretty. Thank you.